at these little feet, look. Boing. Hello. <laughs> oh, look. Put little feet up. Ooh, that looks a bit dirty, doesn't it? Uh, if you had another one like that. Naughty. Actually, look, watch this. <laughs> this is a bit, this is going to be a bit disgusting, but look like that. Little Sydney, the squirrel, seagulls with us today. Keep calling them a squirrel. But I love doing that, my little puppets. <laughs> they look funny. They look funny when you put their beak inside them, look. <laughs> oh, now that looks like a rubber doll. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we quickly look at various art books and Sydney the Squirrel, <laughs> I keep calling him a squirrel, Sydney the Seagull's with us today and he's going to help us go, go through this one which is a book called The Compendium of Drawing Techniques, 200 Tips, Techniques and Trade Secrets by Donna Kroizek. Well I love the cover. It's just full of lots of little... I like that. I think it's really cool. I like the colour as well. It's like a... Like a lilac-y grey blue. Really nice colour. There we go. That's what it looks like. This book, I've never ever heard of it before. And what happened was I bought a book... I bought Lee Hammond's... I bought one of Lee Hammond's art books and on eBay and the seller had this book for two quid so I thought well I might as well get it see what it's like hopefully it's just full of nothing but little tips I would love it if it's full of little tips like little paragraphs of tips because what I would do is I'd start sprinkling them into my podcast so little, little Sydney's going to let us in I love Sydney's legs look <laughs> looks like he's he's having a putting his feet up da 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 boing Oh, a little elephant. Inside we go. <laughs> little elephant. Little Sydney's going to sit there. Hopefully behave himself. Well, I love the way this book's set up. All these little squares. It's very sexy to me. And you can see that it's going to cover all different types of things. Like charcoal, pastels, whatever that is. <laughs> Paints, coloured pencils. Oh, look at this, look. 2012 this was come out. Chapter 1, Tools and Materials. Sketching and Drawing Techniques. Working with the, your subject. Commissions and Display. This is going to be fun, I think. I like that little bird. Again, that's an, another thing that would be nice to copy. Find about this book. Look. Ah, oh, here we go. It says here, look, little tips. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Look, you're going to get little tips. That's just what I wanted. Little paragraph of tips. Cool. Tools and materials. Like that texture. <laughs> like that texture. Nice paper, actually. Very thick. High quality paper. So here we go. Here's a little tips look. Number one, getting a handle on drawing. Two, drawing with from the elbow. Three, think big. Four, consider an e easel. I wouldn't consider them tips. Maybe. It's more... Well, I suppose it is. All you need is pencil. Understanding drawing media. I like the way this book's set out. It doesn't have to be pencil. <laughs> Look, all you need is pencil. It doesn't have to be pencil. Developing your approach. This is a bit like um, going, oh, that's nice. Is that? That's unbelievable. That's actually a... What's that one done with? Coloured pencils, that is. That's incredible. I like that one. I like that one as well. And I like that. And that. Yeah, this is like going through somebody's sketchbook or something. 
sketching and drawing. Let's see if we can. Hello. <laughs> Maybe come back a bit. Da da da. All the little things. Hello. Adding structure, building up detail. The versatility of charcoal. I don't use much charcoal. I only really used it at life drawing and I haven't been life drawing for about a year. I used to love life drawing. Well, I can tell there's lots and lots of stuff to learn in this one. Let your darks turn on the lights. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I talked about this a lot in a podcast. You can make something light by making the thing next to it dark. It's like a paradox thing. It's, it's, I love that. It's all like how it's like an illusion. Drawing's like an illusion. That's got a nice feeling about it. Oh, look at that. He's cool, isn't he? Coloured pencils again. I like the texture of it. the pencils building up the drawing that's amazing that that is beautiful it's got all the names of the artists as well if you if you see something you think oh I like that I can let you know the artist if you can't read it I like that Emily w w Wallace <laughs> What, 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 gravity, gravity pens, gravity fed pens such as ballpoint pens can deliver inconsistent ink flow if not held with the point downwards. Hmm. I think I knew that but I didn't realise I knew that. It's just one of the things you do without thinking about it. I love that sort of thing. Yeah, I love that. A little bit of ink with watercolours. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this one. Look how amazing that is. What I like is how different all the artwork is. That's nice. Pastel landscape. Oh, that's, I love the colours. I prefer it like that than the finished one. It's got nice lighting, but I prefer the feeling of that one. <laughs> there she is, little eh? God, it's big, isn't it? That's what she said. I thought, I've, for some reason, I thought that would be a little thing. It's quite big. That's nice. That's a pencil drawing. Some people have got some amazing skills with coloured pencils. That's nice as well. Nice feeling on that one. And that one. And that. Yeah, capturing like atmosphere. It's cool. Gosh, it's covering everything. Lots of different things. Love those colours, blue and blue and brown. Yeah, that's a nice colour combination for me. Blues and browns. Really nice. Yeah, hey, I love it. I love it when we see artists' studios. Look at this. Look. Got a nice, nice big garden. That's what she said. <laughs> no. Oh, look, even talking about all the bits of the thing. 78, staying organised. Get little tips from somebody's... Hey, look, it got big. If possible, work near a window that receives light from the dome of the sky. North light. Sketching outdoors. You can get little tips for sketching outside. Yeah, I'm loving this. Sketching and drawing techniques. 
a line and gesture. You, you were looking at that in the other book, Cartoon Animation. It's all about line and, line and gesture. I feel like that is the most important thing. The capturing the gesture, capturing the essence of the thing you're drawing is, I think, more important than actually rendering it beautifully. Look at that, that little froggy on a, a pebble thing. Ah, I love that, yeah. It says here, look, draw with children. What I like about that is the innocence of it. There's something about that. It's the innocence, you can't, you can't fake that. That's just like natural. All little tools. See, I couldn't imagine drawing something like that. I, I think I'd be, I think I'd, I'd get a bit bored drawing architecture. That's a bit mysterious. Little babies. I like that though. Hmm, I like that. I like the way there's no details here. It makes it a bit sort of what's behind the door sort of thing. Like there's a story there because they've not drawn everything. That's nice. Scratch board. Somebody was talking about this in one of the comments. There was an artist, I think it was one of the art books, they had done a, a, a drawing I thought was amazing and somebody said that it was done with a scratch board which is like black and you scratch. I can't imagine doing that. It must be very nerve wracking because if you make a mistake, like you screwed it. <laughs> yeah, because once, once you put something in there, you can't, you're scratching into the actual canvas, so you can't fix your errors. It might be quite liberating though because you sort of know that you can't. Oh, I love it! I love it! I love seeing that sort of thing, like all the, the texture of it. I love it. Yeah, look at that, look. Something about that, you can't, you can't really get that with digital. Yeah, there's something, something about it. it makes me f like feel nice. It's, it's, it's like the, the thing that's 2D is actually 3D. Oh, these are nice. Look at these, look. At these, look. They're nice they are. Little jugs. I used to have to do that when I was learning with Bert Dodgson. He had me drawing saucepans and stuff. Nice colours. Oh, I like that. Got all these little tips everywhere, look. I'm not even looking at the tips, I'm looking at the pictures, but I'm going to read one of these in a minute. Cool, that's a nice green. Hey, what's this here, look? That's not cool. Hey, what is that? What the hell is that? <gasps> what is that? I've got no why is that? That's a bit weird, isn't it? I'm gonna have to look into that. I feel like that's sort of um some sort of drug. That's a bit weird. That's a that's what you get for buying two pound books. You get little little prizes inside. I wanna know what that is now. Farmers pharmaceuticals, yeah. Asper as ah oh, maybe it's aspirin or something. Little butterflies. Sepia. I like that colour. Oh, I like that. I would never think to put those two colours together. That is brilliant. Which one shall I read? 
I'm going to read the next one on wherever my finger is, I'm going to read it. Fixing conflict. Dun dun dun! What does it say? It says, Look at the centre of interest in this finished drawing, violet jersey. This one is it? I think so. Is it that one? There is a conflict between the cow's face and what's supposed to be behind it. The shape behind the cow's head is too close in value to the head and its far edge is too sharp to reside. If you lighten the value of this shape and soften its far edge, the background will recede back and the cow's face will be in front of it. The shape behind the cow's head has had its overall value lightened and the far edge softened, enabling it to reside. In addition, the extremes of value, the lightest light, the darkest dark and the sharpest edge, have been re-established on the centre of interest, the cow's head, making it of the highest contrast and so attracting the most attention. I like that. Yeah, but you can see it there. It really pops. What I like about that is it's that thing I've talked about so much is everything in the drawing is related to each other. So you change something over here, it changes it over here. So sometimes the way to get what you want over here is to actually do something over here. <laughs> it's quite weird. Again, it goes into that illusion of how art is like some sort of illusion thing. And then what you start realising is art is based on life so then life sort of becomes an illusion as well because you realise things in life they're only the way they are because of something else over here so in other words you can change something over here it will change something over here and what I think is it's your thoughts your thoughts are sort of linked with reality you change your thoughts it changes reality even though you don't think it, it is because you can sort of do experiments Hey, there's another one here. Yeah, this is a bit weird. I wonder what they are. Very weird. I like that. It's a little bit creepy. Figure drawings. I like figure drawing. Good system. God, that's good. Looks like a photo. That's brilliant, that lighting. Oh, love cats. I like him as well. Cats are my favouritest, I think. Favourite animals are cats. Cats and birds. Some beautiful art in here. I like that we've got all the artists' names as well. I hope at the end you get a list of artists. That'd be quite fun. With little faces. I like what they do on the 3D total publishing books. I like it when they do that. Oh, and then nice colours. I just noticed the little thing down the side there. I like that. It's a bit sexy. Working from photographs. Look at that, that. Yeah, they've captured the essence of it, but they've also created the nose. I'll just change the nose a little bit. I feel like that is better than the photo got more f more feeling in it yeah okay, oh, that's good commissions and display I don't think commissions are for me oh that's nice see that again they've sort of they've sort of taken the original but they've they've Combined everything together. 
Yeah, they've combined multiple things, so they've made it unique. Oh. Protecting and storing. Tips for everything. 226. So there's actually over 200 tips. Framing. It's going through the entire process of creating a work of art. You've got a little glossary, I like these. Think of something. That one here, what does it say? Saturation. Intensity of a colour due to its high percentage of pigment, piggies, <laughs> and minimal percentage of binders or additives. Binders? I don't know what they are. Percentage of binders. I don't know what that by rule of thirds, that's that thing with the golden thing. Golden ratio. I wonder if the golden ratio is in here. Hey look, you've got loads of websites and books and stuff. Got an index as well. That's quite nice. Are we gonna get a list of artists? Yay! Yay! Got a complete list of artists, I think. Oh, nice. That's cool. Because if you go through here and you think, oh, let's say you think, oh, I like this one. This one's made by Marigio Eager. <laughs> Marigio Eager. So you can come back in here and you can say, where's Marigio Eager? Oh, she's not in here. Unless it's A, B, C, D, E, F, E, A, if you go, look. Oh, she's only got one. Page 43. This one here. What about this one? Well, I like that. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. There's another one of these that I didn't know what it was going to be like. I love that there's so much different types of artwork in here. And we even got some little prizes as well. If you want one of these, I'll give them away on the future video if you want. <laughs> Dong. I hope you enjoyed that then. I'll see you later for another one.